This is like wearing a uh, toaster, and it's so big. <laughs> it's a, a certain type of individual that yeah. goes for that watch. That's oh, pretty nice. Yeah, that is really nice. It's a King Seiko. Seiko was a subset brand. <laughs> Let me finish. It's a subset what brand. What the? Hello everyone, Teddy Baldassar here, back with Kevin. And Kevin, we have another tray of watches in front of us, and today the subject matter is Seiko. I love Seiko, but before we start, this is really wine and watches, so I just have to do a shameless promotion for O'Leary Fine Wines, and we're drinking actually the Chardonnay, but here's my Sauvignon Blanc, which is also spectacular. But just, just to let you know, Teddy, sure. wine and watches go very well together. Tell me about it, why? Well, because when you're drinking wine, you're savoring great art, liquid art, and when you're looking at watches, physical art. They go together. I, I, what I wanted to do today was just kind of look at Seiko Are we talking as a brand. Seiko or Grand Seiko? Now, let's make that distinction first. Yeah. So we're talking about Seiko. Right. We're talking about Seiko. So this is a I think brand. It's, it's very important because there's a little brand confusion going on here. You know, There that. is. There is. And it's important to talk about. And we can talk about it a little bit more because we're going to go all the way up in price to see everything that Seiko Into has Into Grand on. Seiko? Well, right to the door of Grand Seiko. Oh, and but there's some controversy there too, as a matter of fact. There is, and we can talk the about that. The spring drive has found its way down into Seiko that came out of Grand Seiko. Ooh la la, such... So we got some drama. We got yeah, some drama to yeah, talk about. It's an issue, it's an issue. But to begin, this is, I would say, when most people think of a budget option for a watch, Seiko 5, it's been around for decades. Yeah. This is a modern creation of that. So this is the SRPD 5.1. Entry door, kind of dive I mean, watch style. But. I mean, Seiko, the Seiko brand, um, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the legendary value creators of watches because it's been around a long, long, long time. Absolutely. This is entry level stuff you're talking about here. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with it. And this is a classic piece. What's not to love about this? Under 300 bucks, too. Yeah, I mean, Come it's on. amazing. And it's, you know, if you're going to buy a watch for 300 bucks, Seiko, you can't go wrong because you have the legacy of the grand masters of making what a lot of people don't realize. The Japanese were ahead of the Swiss for a long time in watchmaking, a long time, mm -hmm. particularly in making watches that were more accurate than what the Swiss made back in the 70s, 80s. Sure. So you have, have to have a lot of respect for the brand. I, love, I like the piece. I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10 because I can dance to it. All right, I like it. You fell right there. All right. Now, this next range that we're going to be looking at, and this is actually another dive watch, but it's a little bit different. Do you like cinema? Do you like like movies? Sure. This was uh, the watch that Arnold Schwarzenegger wore in Predator. So this is called the Seiko Arnie. Now, it's a behemoth in terms of the looks. I don't think this is for you. I don't know how you'd feel about it, but it, it's pretty cool. So the time setting is completely different. So there's no typical crown. You actually have to use these pushers on the side to reset the time. So here, let's just try to do this here. So say I want to set it for, I'll do that. I want to set it. Let's see, let's, let's do it for like three o'clock. Now watch this, this is kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. It's like it's like a sci-fi movie it's, on the wrist. I get it, I get it. You know, that's one of the attributes of uh, the Elegant that uh, F.B. Journe makes. It goes to sleep. Sure. You know, same idea. I mean, that's very cool. Um, let me have a look at it. Absolutely. What's the price point? Five hundred and twenty-five dollars for that yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, look, it's 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 a great you know Arnold thing and all that. I mean, it's this is like wearing a uh, toaster. I mean, it's so big. <laughs> toaster. It's huge. I mean, I get it. I get it. I mean, it's and again, buying buying this, you can't go wrong with Seiko. This is a fantastic piece. It's doing a. It's lot a certain of, type of individual that yeah. goes for that watch. Think about the person that the name affiliation with it. You know what you're getting into when you look at a watch it's, like that. It's the Hummer. <clears throat> of watches. Like if you put four <laughs> wheels on this and brrr, started driving sure, it. I get it. I get you know, it. You're it's, right. It's a giant piece. I like it. I mean, um, you know, it's not for me. Yeah. Not for me. There's a lot of rubber. There's a lot of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm never really sure, Teddy, about combining digital. The analog digital with, display. Yeah. I'm not sure I love that because it's kind of like a, a gimmick in some ways. When you look at this piece, you can tell it's three o'clock or whatever it is with the dial. You don't need to go digital unless you. Well, those have different function. complications on it too. So that has a stopwatch. That has, so they use it for different functions. So it's not just another display. No, I know, but it's you know, to me a little corny. That's all. All right, the Arnie's not for you, I suppose. No, definitely so not. That's I fine. can't it, love everything. That's right, and it's yeah. To be honest, it's. I mean, look at my wrist. Am I going to be able to pull that off? No chance. So <laughs> let's keep going now. When most people think of Seiko, they think of dive watches. I, I would say that's where a lot of people uh, think. Yeah, I think. Or, or let's call we're talking it about entry, entry level. Entry I'm level, I call sports watches. Sure, 
Sure, I'll give you that. Well, okay. But one thing in Seiko's history, I mean, ever since they started making wristwatches, the field watch was really what was kind of the cornerstone. 1913, the Laurel came out. That was right. the first wristwatch that they made. And then in the 1950s, they came out with a new collection. It was kind of a subset of the family of the Laurel known as the Alpinist. Now, we have three different Alpinist models in front of us here. And they're kind of just these really well-built field watches for the day-to-day. -day. Now, they're all around 700 bucks. Yeah. 200 meters of water resistance. I mean, we can go out there in the ocean right now, have sure. some fun, we can do it, absolutely. And then the loom is fantastic. But they kind of just are do-it-all pieces for the price. I'd like to see your take on those. So these are great pieces for the price, no question about it. They're good everyday watches. They, they leave the sports arena, which makes them more on the dress side. But they're still sports capable. You they know? are sports capable, but right now the market is not loving dress watches, and, and you know that. And so if you're going to be entry leveling in at between three and 500 bucks with a Seiko, I wouldn't go here. I, there's nothing wrong with it, but you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck in terms of market recognition on the sports side, the dive side. Sure. Um, I mean, look, there's, these, these have some of the attributes of grand Seiko look to them, particularly on the hour hand. Okay, I mean, so. you're, you're getting some of that look. Let me see the other ones. Yeah, please. So this is known as the baby alpinist. So yeah. that, see, I, I actually prefer that. I mean, that, you, that's my favorite of yeah, the trio. I agree. That's beautiful. And it has, I mean, maybe look under the loop. I mean, look at the, look at the dial on that. It's pretty nice. It's kind of, kind of got that yeah, gradient. I mean, you know, you got to hand it to Seiko for dials. I just, there's such value. 700 bucks for that watch. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, the just, finishing on that is And look at the great. tone of that. Look at the, the, you know, it's got, it's got three, it's got a 3D element to it. The beading of it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's got that kind of pebbled. Yeah, kind of, it's just stunning. Really stunning. And those are painted on numerals. Those they're actually raised. They're raised. Oh, they're, they're, really? they're printed. They're printed. You're right on that one. Yeah. This one is raised. Let's see the raised one. So this one, here you go. That is. That's, that's really nice. I mean, my goodness. There's a lot going on here. Is this more expensive? N not much. It's all between 700, or 700 okay, and 750. Of the, th of the three, Teddy, this wins. Really? This has got a really interesting look so to it. So that is the classic Alpinist that people just love. I yeah. Mean, th there was a JDM model that was known as. Uh, I mean, look. What's the price on this? 750 bucks, 725 okay, so depending on the strap. For 750 bucks, <clears throat> if this is your first watch, there is nothing wrong with this. I agree. It's a great I mean, great there's gateway. nothing wrong with this. It's got a really attractive dial. It's got a look. It's got a style. You're getting a little bit of a sports vibe on it, which mm -hmm. is cool, yet it's a dress piece. And so, and you know what Seiko's known for is this amazing polish that they do on the steel. Sure. It's just beautiful. Yeah, okay, that's the winner. Yeah. And, you know, I, cl I classify that as like an everyday watch. You can pretty much do yeah, everything. Yeah. You're and never out of place. It's going to be wrist-friendly because it's not too big. Mm -hmm. So, you know. And there's different dial colors. That's green. That's the, that's kind of the classic Alpinist look, but if I'd you want something a little more this, versatile. You yeah, can. I know, but I'd go with the classic. Right. I mean, it's right. you know, when you're going to get a piece like this, go with what made it famous in the first place. This green, this gold on green is beautiful. The dial pops. It's raised. Yeah. It's a sharp watch. Yeah. Loom is fantastic too. That thing yeah, they, like shines the, in the dark. Oh yeah, that raises. Look at look at that. That is spectacular. I mean, these guys deliver value. They do. They do. It's just their branding confusion. Well, we got more of that coming, okay. so let's keep okay. moving. Now, this next collection is known as the Sharp Edge Collection, and when you look at these dials, I think you might get an idea why. If we're talking about dials, maybe my favorites on the table today. It's up there. Oh, you're going blue dial again. So we got blue there. Yeah. Take a closer look with the loop. You always got to come prepared, kids. Yeah, Have your loop ready. It. Oh, caramba! <laughs> look at that. What's the price on this? So that is fourteen hundred dollars. Wow, that dial is spectacular. GMT. Oh, and that's a true GMT, meaning that the local hour hand could be isolated in its setting. So this when has you're traveling, to be, this is this is the top on the on the table right now. Well I think now. I'm gonna show you this one oh too. Oh my on. goodness. Let's keep it moving. You gotta you make sure you show a close up of that. Oh, we'll, dial. Get, we'll get some close ups. That is absolutely I mean <laughs> you, know, you find this kind of work in a hundred thousand dollar watches. I mean it's clearly it looks pressed to me, but still even it that probably being the is case, pressed but it looks cares? spectacular. It looks great. Who cares at the end result and when you're talking about a thousand dollars. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It, it, of course it's pressed. They're not gonna Engrave that. that, not at that price. All right, now this is the three hand option. Thousand bucks. This is what a thousand bucks from Seiko can get you. Yeah. What do you think? This is a lot. See, this is where you start to get into the look of Grand Seiko here. This is some of the entry level Grand Seikos. So I'm going to guess this is one of these crossover. 
No, we have more coming. Oh, really? Eh? Yeah, no, that, we're not even there yet. This is just still Seiko. It's I, 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 much, I much prefer the blue dial, i got to be honest with you. But this, that, that and that configuration also comes in blue, so you could get that Well, that green. would be amazing. You know what? It's a clean face. Good contrast. I think that's the one for me. Yeah. The GMT is great value, though, too. It's a no, little bit I larger, know, but it. it's, the, it's great. But this is, I mean, this is more on the dress side with the beautiful polish on the steel. Uh, a very nice piece. But if you want weekend action, this... Sure. Or travel watch. Yeah, yeah. Yep. No question. You know, the answer at this price, get both. That's <laughs> what I'm too. thinking. You got a full collection right yeah, there. That's beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Still in the, kind of the same ballpark. We have one more, but then we're going to jump up. And this is where we get a little bit into some more dicey territory. But this here is, if you want to talk about what you can get from a Seiko dive watch for north of a thousand bucks. Now, I'm not crazy this on the strap. Is, this, is, this is the marquee of their brand. I mean. Dive watch, I think this is the history. This is a classic 1960s inspiration, bringing it back. And yeah. the wearability on this one is fantastic. I like how wearable that case is. But you yeah. don't like the strap. I, and I'm, you know, I think you need to have that on a bracelet too. I, I personally yeah, like it on a bracelet. I, I, it, it, it takes away from the piece as far as I'm concerned. But oh, I mean, this is, a, this is well finished. Yes, yeah, 100% classic, 100% classic. I mean, actually, as a start-off watch starter, you, you know, it's it's sporty. I'm going to give the dial an 8 out of 10. It's beautiful. It's just classic, total classic. Um, price point? $1,200. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you can get a better value in a dive. I would there are, definitely, there are I would some definitely more competition change there. the band on this thing. I would, too. I'd get the, there's many different variants of that. You can get it on a bracelet. There's some limited edition options also. They have also. a steel bracelet for it? Yes. Yeah, okay, so... Seiko I, does lag behind on their bracelets typically, it, but it's pretty good on that one. Yeah, I mean, of all the pieces, I mean, it's it's hard not to put this up in the top quartile. Well, while we're heading up to the... Yeah, that's, that's... The thing is, you see the theme across Seiko. Incredible value, incredible mm -hmm. dials, incredible polish, amazing metal work. I mean, these guys, you know... Now, some people are getting mad because they say that Seiko's going up market, which, yes, they are releasing more watches to a higher price range because a lot of people are just used to getting them for a few hundred bucks. The company is very well managed. I really believe that. I really do because they understand their dilemma, but they also understand demand and they understand style and they bring pieces on a consistent basis that are popular globally. Yes. I mean, a lot of, a lot of early uh, collectors ignore Seiko in the beginning to their detriment. That's what I think because the dials are so fantastic. If, if you don't get started on Seiko, you might look past maybe one of the best brands in, in watches at this tier. But if you get a lot of this, this is the gateway drug for many people. Seiko is the brand that people look back to with great reverence as they start to collect down the road. Because it was that thing that got them into it. Seiko, not Grand Seiko. Not Grand Seiko, Seiko, Seiko and Longines to me are the best value in the watch world. Put Hamilton in there, put Tissot in there. There's a lot of brands. I mean, there's I know, some good brands. Come on, these guys have history. Sure. That you have to, you know, if you're giving points, well Hamilton, yeah, it's got history too, but yeah. If you're giving points to consistency of manufacturing quality over decades, you got to hand it to Seiko. No question. No argument for me. All right, so now we're getting into here. Let's maybe move some of these back. Let's just get this back There's here. a whole lot of Seiko going yeah, on. Yeah, there's here. a lot of Seiko going on here. <laughs> Not a bad problem to have, if you ask yeah. me. Now we're getting into the more dicey territory. So this is a high-end Seiko diver. This is using their Marine Master formula, which is... Their What's professional. The caliber? What's the caliber? So this is their own caliber yeah. inside. So no, not a spring it, drive. Not a spring uh, drive. Okay. It's, it's, I, I, no. You said crossover controversy. Not yet. If not yet. We're getting me, there. If you tell me, and I happen to know this is true, that a Seiko has a spring drive, there's a problem. We're getting there. Okay. We'll get, we'll get there. This is the standard Marine Master. Now, get under the loop on that one. It's three thousand bucks. This is what three thousand dollars gets you from Seiko. That's not stamped. That dial is probably painted, right? I can't tell, but the finish on that piece is stunning, is, I mean, stunning, can you, stunning. Can you feel that, the that, jump? Can yeah, you, you feel the I, jump. I, I can definitely, the and, the, and the raised elements are really beautiful. Get some bezel action going. Get get a feel for that well, too. You always can tell. I mean, these guys. Oh, that's smooth, right? That's oh, pretty nice. Yeah, that is really nice. Wow, these. You know, you gotta hand it to these guys. They really know what they're doing. That is that is just. You know, you can't feel it on video, but I'm telling you, this is a nine out of 10. It just feels, feels like 10,000 bucks. That's good. 
that that is the kind of grail professional dive watch. Yeah. What happens when a lot of brands go up to the higher tier with their dive watch is they forget the intended function of the it, dive watch. This doesn't. That, that whole Japanese <laughs> lacquered painting vibe on it. Yeah, yeah, it has that wave pattern. It's yeah. it's beautiful. These guys just kill it. I mean, they're just now this is a heavy beast. It, it is. It's a heavy beast. It can take a beating too. Yeah. That thing will be reliable as can be. So, I mean, now you're talking a little more. Um, you're getting up there. Beautiful dial. Beautiful getting up dial. There. Yeah. But, um, you know, that's a very nice, nice piece. So this is a top end of Seiko. Almost. Okay. I mean, it's higher end. Yes, no question. But now we're getting into uh, the area where it's, it's a little interesting okay. to talk about. I, just, just, from, brand just from this far away, that's a Grand Seiko. It's close. It's a King, I know. It's a king I, Seiko. I, and I have many Grand Seikos that look exactly like that. So maybe they've done something very nasty and brought it into Seiko. Is that a spring drive? No. Now this is a King Seiko. Now, King Seiko was a subset brand. <laughs> Let me finish. It's a subset what brand. The? Yeah, I know. It's confusing. Subset brand right after Grand Seiko. Grand Seiko released in 1960. These were released in 1961. It was throughout the 70s that they had these. Beloved for these high beat movements that they were uh, yeah, yeah, showcasing yeah. Yeah. in their watches. But and, and getting extraordinary accuracy with them. Yes, and the finishing on them, also remarkable. But yeah. they brought this back as a limited edition. Uh, so this is one of, I believe, 3,000 pieces that they made for this, which is still a high number, but... That's, that's not limit. Like, it's, you know... Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's know, production. Sure, of okay. course. But take anything, a look. Anything over 1,500, 1,700, I, I think it's a little relative to the brand, but I agree. Ooh, look at that brush. That is just... That's really nice. It's very it? nice. Now, King Seiko was positioned as just under Grand Seiko in, in terms of level of finish. That's too much. That's too confusing. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a branding problem. I think it is a little bit of a branding problem. You have to be you know, in the weeds enough to know yeah, the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it, look, it's a beautiful piece. It's a classic look. You can't go wrong. Look at the 12 marker. Look at that. How it's etched. You, yeah, you getting that? You see that? Like that? Okay. You know, we can criticize the branding, but you can't criticize the piece. Yeah, the end product is good. The end product is friggin' amazing. Here, let me, let me uh, yeah, here, let's take off the sticker. Let's take yeah, off our that's sticker. really, really. Can we get our sticker off here? Because I mean, this is the classic. I don't know how you go wrong in, in buying. That's the any, classic gold medallion yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah. yeah oh see. wow. It's kind of fun. King Seiko. I owned a vintage King, uh, King Seiko back in the day. They're Look at that. Fun. You know, I mean, you cannot go wrong investing in anything from Seiko. That's the way I look at it. You can debate the dial, or you know, whether you want to go sport or dress, but th th these are the uh, this entry level. You can't go wrong. I just agree. can't go wrong. It's three thousand bucks. That's not entry level, though. That's I know, the problem. but I mean, it's a good investment. Also, it's the you know the thing about these watches is they're going to last your lifetime. They're well made, mm -hmm. and they're beautiful. There's art. There's art in this watch. I agree. I agree. No problem there. I haven't found anything I really hate yet. I don't like the Arnold thing, but uh, yeah, but that's kind of a more polarizing uh, creation. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of the entry level. It's yeah. not for me either, but I, it has its audience, and that's the cool thing about Seiko. And in their collection, they have something for everyone, and that's yeah. that's nice. Now we're getting down to the dirty stuff. Okay, let's talk. This is a brand new watch. Probably be old news by the time this video is released, but this just came out today. So I've not seen it yet. No one, I mean, I think we're one of the I'm first people in the world. I'm liking the dial, I gotta tell you. It's kind of got a really interesting... It's got a meteorite effect to it. I'll, yeah. I'll let you take a closer look yeah, at yeah. it, but this is a member of their LX collection. So this is their high-end dive watches and also just kind of sports watch yeah. line yeah. under the Seiko umbrella. But this watch does have spring drive oh. on the inside. <laughs> Here, take a look. Oh. Okay, we're gonna take a look. You're kidding. No. Oh, right, that's, let's, let's take that, a look. That's just, really a, that, let's, I don't let's, know if I like that, Teddy. Just get rid of, I don't know don't if look, I like that. Close your eyes, you don't see the brand name. Just take a look at the watch. What do you see? This is not a Grand Seiko. It has a spring drive in it. I think some people are gonna be pissed. That's what I think. I love the dial. Oh my goodness. It's sharp. I may have to add this to my collection. What's the price on this? 5000 Really? A little over 5000 Wow. This is beautiful. Look oh, my goodness. The, the dial is so spectacular. So what are they trying to do here? They're trying to stretch. They're trying to push Seiko into premium and give you a movement that comes from super premium because that's what Grand Seiko is. It's, it's tough because we looked at everything from 295 bucks to this. Yeah. I'm not sure, but what it seems like they're doing a lot is starting to offer up products and segments that they were maybe not prioritizing in the past because uh, a lot of the focus for Seiko and in past years were more towards that entry door. Teddy, this is a beautiful piece. 
I was impressed. I mean, when I heard, I, I, like I, I, and, I get the, there's going to be blowback um, from the Grand Seiko collectors, of which I'm one. I'm not like We both it. love Grand Seiko. No, I, I, I love Grand Seiko, but I don't do. want to see, I don't, like, my spring drives are Grand Seikos. They're not Seikos. That's, that's the differentiator. That's, and it, and it's an, I mean, the movement itself, the technology behind it is, it's so I have, to, I have to find out who made that decision and I have to talk to them like it's uh, <laughs> I'd like to get an understanding of where the position is because from my the perspective spring it drive seems... is is the crossover into the upper end of Grand Seiko it's masterworks that's what it is that's what you're getting into that's why you buy that brand that's why you collect that brand I don't want to see it down here in Seiko land I've got a problem got although a problem? I love this piece so where are you on? You're, you're sitting I, on the I know, I can't right help now. myself. I, I, this, is, this is a fantastic. I love the watch. Uh, it's a little bit large, but from a finishing perspective, it's... What is this, 45? I think it's 44. Yeah, 44 and a half. It's up there. I can't say enough good things about this style. It's wow. sharp. It's sharp. Single crown, right? Screw yep. down, probably. Mm -hmm. 100 meters of water resistance, true GMT movement, spring drive caliber on the inside. And I have a whole video on the spring drive explaining how it works. It's a remarkable piece of engineering. I know, but it's you remarkable. couldn't get it unless you stepped up into Grand Seiko. I mean, come on. So what does this mean? So you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you mad? Are you mad? Or what, well, what, what, I, what are your thoughts? I'm, I'm, you know, does this mean I can get a spring drive for 1100 bucks soon? No, no way. No way. They're going to protect that at least within the LX why'd collection. Why'd they do this? Why didn't they make this a Grand Seiko? Seiko probably have rights to the technology and they can use it as well. That's at least my, my thought. No, but at the end of the day, it's the same company. And so why Well, not? it is and it isn't. The brands are totally separate. I get it, except Grand Seiko and Seiko, they talk to each other every day. Sure, right? they do. That is so nice. if you're going to bring up this GMT, which is a spectacular piece, I would have rather bought it as a Grand Seiko GMT. I mean, that, and uh, you could have sold it to me at a, even more than 5000 because I'm used to paying more for Grand Seiko and I want the spring drive. So. Power of branding. It, it is a dilemma. It's a, well, for those of dilemma. us who buy Grand Seikos, we know what the spring drive is and we're, we're expecting to pay up. We're, pr we're protecting our turf because mm -hmm. that is a very strong technology. Look, I, I'm, I'm mixed emotions on it, okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm not. You really pissed me off, Teddy. I gotta tell you, it's, it's, it's really- That's what I'm here for. No, I know, but I have to tell you, this is one of the nicest sports pieces I've looked at in a long time. Wow, that's heavy praise. You know, I love the dial. I mean, it's subtle. So let's take a step back. Yeah. Let's look at what's on the table. What are what are your maybe top three okay. of, all, of all that we've seen yeah, here today? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, this is- It's number one? Yeah, number one. I mean, this Even is, with the price, even with the drama? Yeah, you can, I mean, look, you, it's, you can look it's, past it's, it? they've done a- Unbelievable job on this. Look, I collect dials. That's unique. That's an amazing dial. Okay. Uh, number two, and I did like a lot of, you know, this is very interesting too. You're going for the high end stuff. Yeah, I know, but you know, it's just, it, I, I, I'm a dial guy. Look how, look how unique and different they are. I know what number three is already. Oh, you do? I do. I'm not sure you do. I, I'm, sure I, I'm sure I do. It's this. Oh, come on. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> You just did that because you no, didn't want to my prediction. No, I you off. But I got to tell you, it's tough because there's some other great pieces. I love that too. What about the GMT, the blue GMT? You know, like, I, like I thought it. you were like going to go for that. No, I like it, but you know, there's other, there's other blue GMTs that have dial. I mean, it, it's, you know, you're looking for dial uniqueness. I like it, but you know, I got to tell you, I like this piece too. I'm making this number three. This is, this is beautiful. Watch. Alpinist, yeah. Yeah, that is just, and that's classic. It is. That's classic. Field watch, explorer's watch from mm. Japan. You know, on the other hand, wait a second. Maybe I put this down because I've already got this gorgeous GMT. And if I could dump this bracelet, put a nice red band on this thing, this would be, you know, those are my three. Interesting. Yeah, that's, that's a nice piece too. It is, it, it really is. is. They have one with a white dial, blue bezel. Yeah. yeah it's that's amazing. Right. I, I can't say enough about um, Seiko it being such great value. And these are fantastic pieces, but this, this is a travesty. Putting, but it's your number one. I know, but it's, it's wrong. It should say Grand Seiko on it. Well, you're supporting it. You're perpetuating the very no, idea I know, of but its I'm creation. not happy, I'm not happy. Basically, they discounted my Grand Seiko by 50%. You might have to have a follow-up episode of this. They yeah. have. I mean, 
my Grand Seikos are, you know, in most cases twice the price or more, and they have, you never had access to a spring drive. So, I don't know, Teddy. I think you're starting a shitstorm here, that's what I think. The comments are already and collectors, going nuts. And collectors know exactly what I'm talking about. They know exactly what I'm talking about. There's every, everybody in their collection should have Grand Seikos. But this, I don't know. Although I love the piece, I have to tell you. I may get one. They can put a red band on this for sure. Oh, they could. Yeah. They could. What a wash. That's just gorgeous. All right. Well, it's another episode where you've just caused confusion. That's it. <sighs> That's, that was not my I intended need, purpose. No, here. I need to have another sip. All right. See. Drink up. I'll do my outro. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe here as well on Kevin's channel because we'll be posting videos over there. Also, check out teddybaldasar.com, full authorized dealer of over 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. Guys, thank you again so much for watching. See you all very soon. Thank you, Teddy. Goodbye. I'm so pissed off. <laughs>